This is independent practice 1.2. Um, hopefully you've had a chance to do some of these problems, maybe uh, all of them, 1 through 6. And you're just kind of checking to see how you did. Maybe you got stuck on 1 and you want to see how I did it. Uh, and hopefully it can guide you and, and help you to understand. So let's look at number 1. Um, what it's asking for is a ratio in simplest form. And then we want to explain its meaning. So we look down here, it's flutes to drums. So flutes is going to go on top, and drums is going to go on the bottom. One, two, three, four. Four flutes to one, two drums. Now, I want to make sure that's in its simplest form. I take the smallest number, two. I do my factor rainbow. Does two go into both? It does. So I divide each by 2, and it gets me 2 over 1. So my fraction is 2 over 1, which means for every 2 flutes, there is 1 drum. That's what it means. Okay. Number 2, sandwiches. To milk cartons. So sandwiches. One, two, three, four. So I got four, and then I want my milk cartons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, four over ten. Can I simplify it? I want to find the greatest common factor. Four is one and four, and then two. Okay, does 4 go into 10? Nope. Does 2 go into both? Yep. So divide each by 2 gets me 2, 5. So for every 2 sandwiches, there will be 5 cartons of milk. All righty. Let's look at number three. A class has six boys and 15 girls. What's the ratio of boys to girls? Okay, boys goes on top, because that's what's first. And then it's saying boys to girls, so the girls is that way. Now, I have to simplify it. So I take my smallest number, and I do a little uh, factor tree here. Does 6 go into 15? No. Does 3 go into 15? Yep. So I divide each side by 3. 6 divided by 3 is 2. 15 divided by 3 is 5. So what does this mean? For every two boys, there are five girls. All right. Number four. The table. Here's your table over here. Table shows the number of books Salvador has read. Find the ratio of mystery books to total. Okay, mystery books, 10. Total would be 10 plus 7 plus 5 plus 2. I'm going to put those two together at 7, because then 7 plus 7 is 14. 14 plus 10 is 24. Just grouped them in such a way that it makes it easier to do some mental math. Now, i got to go to 10, find my greatest common factor, 1 and 10, 2 and 5. Okay, 10 does not go into 24, 5 does not go into 24, 2 does. So I divide each side by 2, gives me 5 twelfths. So for every 5 mystery books that Salvador read, for every 5 mystery books, he read 12 total books. All right, number five. Divide 33 into groups, two groups. So the ratio is four to seven. Okay, four to seven. So I need a total of seven groups. Um, hmm. Let's 
see. Four to seven. This one's a little tricky. Um, oh, no. No, let's do a bar model, okay? Like we did before. Um, I'm going to shrink this. Pull it over here so I can do some workspace over here. So we have four... four groups, and then we have seven here. One, two, three, four, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Perfect. So how many total groups do we have? Um, we have 11. 11, and it has to, the 33 has to go equally into that. So 33 divided by 11 equals 3. So, I'm dividing them up. Each section gets three. Then, I can add up these sections. And I'm going to do it by multiplication because it's easier. Four times three is twelve. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven times three is twenty-one. All right. So, I will need um, one group will be 12, and one group will be 21. And this is the same as 4 to 7. It becomes so, so much easier when you decide to just do the bar model and just figure out how many groups you need on top, how many groups you need on the bottom. They all have to be an equal number in that group, and then you add them up. Okay. Okay, let's look at this interesting problem. We're going to use this uh, graphic novel frame below. Um, for each store, so we have three stores here, what is the ratio of the number of cans to the price? Number of cans to the price. Okay, let's start with... Um, the smart shop or shop smart. We'll go shop smart. And that one's going to equal. So it wants the number of cans to the price. Number of cans, 24 packs, but we're going to get two of them for $9. So it's actually going to be 48 cans for nine dollars. Now, I can simplify that. If I do the greatest common factor of nine, it's going to be one, three, and nine. Nine doesn't go in there, but I know three does. Three, divide each by three, it's going to give me sixteen, three. Okay, so that is the ratio of cans to price. So 16 cans for $3 if you go to this shop smart. Let's do the next one. Super saver. Super saver. I'm just going to call that S saver. Okay, so a number of cans. Oh, it's 4 for $10. So 4 times 12, 48 cans for $10. Okay, and I simplify that. I can uh, divide it in two, 24 fifths. So I'm going to get 24 cans for $5. That's the ratio. Now let's do the last one, price busters. So it's three packs, so three times 12 is 36 cans for $9. And I know that nine goes into both of those numbers, so I'm going to divide each by nine. And it gives me four over one. So the ratio is four cans for a dollar if I go to Price Busters. Okay, so those are my three ratios. Now, B says, what would be the ratio of the number of cans at the pr to the price at Super Saver 
and price busters if a coupon for one dollar off the total price is used. Okay, so we got one dollar off. So let's go to Super Saver. Super Saver. I know that it's. I figured it out right here. It's forty-eight. Um, forty-eight to ten. But I'm gonna save a dollar, and the bottom price is the dollar. So it's forty-eight cans. Now instead of ten dollars, it's nine. Um, forty-eight to nine. And we know because that would now be the same as the Shop Smart. We can divide each of those by three, and it'll get us sixteen three. Okay. So we need to save a dollar, and it changes it. That's Super Saver. Now let's go to Price Busters. Price Busters is thirty six for nine dollars, but we're gonna save a dollar. So now it's thirty six to eight. Okay. And now I know if I do eight, we get one, eight, two, four. Eight doesn't go into 36, but four does. Divide each side by four. I get nine, nine cans for two dollars. All right. So those would be the, the ratios with a dollar off. Cool. Hopefully, uh, you did pretty good. If you have any questions, let me know.